Welcome to Alania Els Prat. Verdict is. <laughs> Hang on, it's space. Oh. No, not really. Oh, <laughs> I wondered what was in your hand. Is that their map? Yeah, the map. Yep. Um, Where are we? Right on there. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're right, right on, on the front. Seafront. I right. don't know that. Yeah, anyway. Seafront pitch. Seafront pitch. We've got some wristbands for the uh, like the pool and stuff. Fab, is it, just, is it just tonight? Oh, I'll get you done, mate. One no. second. Is um, it just, just tonight? No, three, three, three nights. Oh. Obviously, a pool. the pool's open all day. Fab. Um, she said just go straight down here. Right. But yeah, there's like, oh, in there, there's like this really Oh, this is so exciting. Look at it though. Oh, uh, well, I suppose I could direct you. Yeah. She's drawing the line on there. I can see. I'm looking at the map now. Yeah, straight down. Straight down. Look at this thing. It actually looks like the Bahamas or straight something. Straight down, yeah? yeah? straight down, yeah. Oh my gosh, look. Look, the sea! Just there. This is our pitch, Kevin. Oh, look at it. That's our beach entrance, right there. <laughs> someone's, on, someone's on our beach, Kevin. It's the flattest pitch we've had. I don't think we've been on this this week. No? <coughs> Can we not get in? Right then, let's go check out the beach. Can you believe it, guys? Here's the setup. All done. And within metres of where we are is the beach. I mean, it's all sand anyway. But there's the sea. So the girls are just reading Peppa Pig and George and Kevin have gone for a shower. They're going to come back. All the kids are going to be in bed. And we bought some of this today at Lidl. It's liquor de crema, which I'm guessing is a bit like Bailey's, but it's in quite a posh bottle. So we're going to sit and have a nice glass of that each with some nice ice. <sighs> it's so hot. It's really, really hot. I don't know what the temperature is. In fact, I can tell you. It's 27 degrees. It is. It's really late. It's very, very late. And it's 27 degrees. But everyone's up in Spain. Everybody's up. All the families are, are awake. Like they've, You've got young kids still eating their evening meal right now. It's so bizarre. It's like just not what I'm used to. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's uh, like I thought the kids stayed up late in France, but in Spain it's even later. Welcome back guys, we're on day two at Alania and it is absolutely roasting. You'll see in a video shortly, but the place is beautiful. We've got a seafront pitch, we're about 
10 metres away from, from the beach. We're about 50 metres away from the swimming pool, probably about 50 metres away from the kids' play park. Everything that you need is on site. Shops, restaurants, bars, there's a takeaway, there's a play park right there, you know, there's everything there. We've got to... Hey guys, just behind us there is the Wind Cat restaurant. This is the one that you have to book in advance. And I mean, every time we walk past it, it's been dead, hasn't it? It's yeah. been absolutely, I mean, you can see right now, there's nobody, for some reason you have to book. Yeah. Um, and whenever we try, it's always booked up. <laughs> but yeah, really, really nice place over from the beach. The kids play park right next to it and the sorts of foods apparently because we have spoken to some people haven't we that have mm -hmm. managed to get into the restaurant it's sort of burgers and chips and pizzas that is that kind of food um so yeah sort of typical english i guess typical english american kind of food but again like you can see that you know the, the restaurant is on these on the beachfront it's so close to the beach and that's what makes this place so nice we've got a beachfront uh picture of we do. Um, then you just wake up in the morning and you just step out and you're on the beach. It's really nice going to bed and having the window open so you can let a breeze through and all you can hear are the waves going. Kevin just having a shower because it's so hot. <laughs> they didn't work. I think they're dehydrated. <laughs> you was going to get yourself wet though, weren't you? I was, yeah. <laughs> it, is it is really hot today. It's gorgeous. It's been like this... The whole time, hasn't it? Oh, it has, yeah. yeah. What you do find as well is on, on these beaches, it's, it's very similar to you know, these sort of Canary Islands and I guess the rest of mainland Spain, you get those lucky men, lucky, lucky men, you know, selling hats and scarves and T-shirts and, you know, people wanting to braid your hair and stuff. And yeah, it's a bit it, of an annoyance. It's... But, it's a little bit relentless yeah. going to the kids park and you i think we were approached maybe four different times yeah. twice by one lady well um, i i think there's i think there's resorts further down in, in either direction yeah and i'm sure they just swap people you know they, they just phone each other and just swap oh they will be definitely they're just they're everywhere on the beach aren't they but yeah have a look at this beach here like you can see you can just see for miles it's just beach people on the beach And the water is so blue as well. It's gorgeous to look at. And just down here, about 10 foot away from the beach, is our pitch. And there it is. So we're all set up, aren't we, Kevin? Yep, there's our pitch. We'll have a quick look inside. Yeah, let's do it. You get no Instagram filters with us. This is no, no there is no uh, Instagram filter. Rich people. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, children. Let's not do that with the light switch, huh? Everything's Hello. broken. <laughs> Everything's Come on, broken. Come get Jeez. Um, um, mummy. It's all, yeah. Um, what is that? It's my camera. No, I mean... That's my stick to make it longer so that I can film easier. And there we go. The bed's still set up at the back because we're so lazy. And we've got a bit of washing up to do, haven't we, kids? Mm -hmm. Are you coming out then? That's Have you poured water on yourself? Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a proper resort. So these are the cabins that you can rent. Yeah, they're all air-conditioned, we've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Which all is... air-conditioned cabins. It was really good. Um, but like you say, you can get all-inclusive, so you can come here. You don't need to tow, you can fly straight here. Yeah. Um, you can rent a cabin, you can rent, I think there's some flats over there as well that you can rent. So they've got, yeah, they've got little um, apartments, haven't they? Yeah. And all inclusive, you get a wristband and you go into the, the buffet restaurant, which we haven't been into, but it's a typical Spanish buffet. Yeah. Um, and for anyone that's interested, it's 18 euros for an adult and 14 euros for children. Yeah. Which, I mean, we've had some people having a bit of a complaint about it, the food's not very good and things, but I think you have to kind of be used to yeah, Spanish food. We, we quite like Spanish food, but mm. it, it did put us off a little bit, didn't it? And that's probably why we haven't tried it yet, to be honest. I mean, we have only been here two days, so it might be something we do tomorrow. Yeah, we might give it a go, mightn't we? Yeah. But yeah, so we're just coming up to where the shops and the other facilities are. But you can see, you can sort of see in the background, it's, it's really idyllic, you know, with the palm trees and the, mm. it's just beautiful. 
and this is this is, that was the walk to basically the center almost like the the town center of the the park you know um so now we've got the shops and the the lawn there's a laundrette there isn't there there's, it's over that way yeah so, you, so you've got a proper supermarket yeah <coughs> so there's the shop down there over there in that direction you've got the buffet restaurant you've got toilet laundrette showers everything that you'd need yeah upstairs is the thing isn't it is the buffet the restaurant shop. yeah 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 you're gonna buy your drink. So you can have a quick look. Can't you? Once we're here, that's where you buy your fans. Yeah. You're basically, just coming in to cool down. And, and hit, you, hit your head on that. <laughs> this is what uh, concerned me. That's 25 euros, and I'm sure I've seen something like that in the pound shop. Yeah. It's typical <laughs> holiday park stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just don't buy toys. <laughs> it's, I mean, but they have got everything. Oh, yeah. Snorkel kits, inflatables for the pool. And that, that's a good thing as well. You, you can use inflatables, you can use the snorkels. You can, anything you buy in here, you can use in the pool, which is, I think, is really good. Mm -hmm. um, if you forget anything, carpets. Yeah, there's a lot of camping stuff. They have spares, clips, pegs, glue, lots of chemicals. Fanta, please. Orange, please. It is, it's got a lot in it. No, you don't. If you forget your bikini, you've got it all. There's a gym as well, isn't there? Um, yeah. Have a quick walk, to, walk up to the pool and have a look at the gym and the, the pool. Take away. I will take away. Here's the L buffet. <laughs> the takeaway, actually, this is a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Because that takeaway and the the takeaway on the pool side, which does hot dogs and pizzas and, and mm. burgers and stuff like that. Um, sounded perfect. It's not been open the whole time. No, been, has it's, it? it's closed on Monday to Thursday. That takeaway is, but then yeah. the one at the top by the poolside, it's just apparently there's a problem with the gas. Yes. So it's just not been open. Yeah. So down here you've got. And here's the showers. That's so the laundrette. Laundrette. Showers. This is where we enjoy to have the showers. Oh, right, okay. The baths. So baths on this side, and then these are the showers. Um, just normal shower. Bit, it? It's quite good. I don't know if you can see here or not, but it's got this sort of like rainfall shower, and then you've also got a little nozzle, you know, that to wash yourself. It's basically the same one we have at home, isn't it? It is, yeah. But it's nice. really powerful, and it's really hot. Yeah. And it lasts for ages. Just You've got the accessible one as well. Yeah. We've looked at the laundry already. You've got three machines and two oh, dryers, the, I think. Four euros fifty for a washing machine. That's not bad. Three euros fifty for tumble dryer. That's really reasonable. It's very reasonable. Actually. Very very. But then you probably wouldn't use it. Would you use a tumble dryer in this weather? Or would you just hang it up? up? <laughs> oh, baby bath. Forgot baby to show you the baby bath. Oh, that's a 
Uh, it's a baby bath or an adult bath for people who want to crouch. <laughs> it's a baby bath, Kevin. It's definitely a baby bath. And then you've got your showers and basins for washing just in there. Really nice. I mean, same showers as what we just showed you. There's also a great big men's one and a women's one as well. But really nice and hot, aren't they? Yeah. It's nice to go somewhere and find hot. Uh, well, we've just looked at the shower. Oh, these ones are really nice. They're the same. They're the same. Then you've got your washing up area and your clothes washing area if you don't want to use the laundry. Ping pong just over there. Reception is just there. Yeah, reception is up at the top. I think you saw that when we were checking in. Yeah. But it's a very nice reception. It's a bit posh, isn't it? Yeah, that, but a bit posh for us. <laughs> The whole place is like that, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Everything is very well presented. It is. Um, the to I've, you know, I've seen cleaners in the toilets regularly as well. So yeah. this is the toilet block. It's huge. I think in the women's there's about 20 toilets. It's probably needed. No and home then, service point. No home service point. I think by now you all know how these work. <laughs> the water down the drain. Yeah. Fill the water up on the side. Yeah, and I've noticed in Spain it's a CH, it's not an Elson Point, it's a CH. We don't know what that stands for, do we? No. I'm sweating so much that my sunglasses are falling off my nose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did notice this um, yesterday when I walked down mm -hmm. here. But obviously these people have come prepared because they've actually covered their cars. That's how hot it is. Here. Yeah, they've I've noticed their cars. there's a lot of people on the touring pitches. They've all got covered up cars. Everybody's got these big blankets and things hung up to stop the sun getting in. English people. More English people. It's boiling. Until tomorrow now to make a decision. Do we stay? Do we extend our, our stay for a, you know another couple of nights because it is so nice here? Or do we look for somewhere new? So we'll let you enjoy the video anyway to see what we've been up to so far and then we'll hopefully make a decision at the end of it. So it's day three at Alania Elsprats, Elsprats, yeah. and it's very hot today. But yeah, we decided not to extend our holiday. We are going to head off because although it is an all-inclusive resort and seems to have everything that you need, it is actually quite isolating. There isn't much in the local area to go to. There's nowhere to go for a walk. Usually we go somewhere and there might be a beach within sort of 500, 600 metres. Uh, we had a beach within 10 feet and it was just a little bit too close. <laughs> There's nowhere to go, we're just on site, we're walking around the site, we've done everything. We've tried all the ice creams, we've been at the bar, we've been in the pool a few times, we've been on the beach and we want somewhere with a little bit more happening on the outskirts. So that's what we're going to go and look for now. So we are actually heading off today and we'll catch up with you when we're actually on the road. We're just trying to get out of sight at the moment. Not out of sight, out of the campsite. 